Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com and today I'd like to talk with you about the idea of soulfulness and the Mandela Effect and reality shifts. And I've been reading and rereading a book that I read a while ago by Jacob Needleman. It's called I Am Not I. And the idea here is that uh, Jacob writes a play or a book, whatever, <laughs> about his older self Jacob meeting his younger self Jerry. And throughout the dialogue in the book, there's also a third character that shows up. I won't spoil it in case you read it, but the idea here is that different levels of self can and often do interact. And even more than that, the book delves into the whole idea of soulfulness. And it has a wonderful quote, which I especially enjoyed by Gurdjieff. Maybe not so much a quote by um, Needleman as a recollection by Jacob Needleman as one of the main recommendations that Gurdjieff made. He's the one who mentioned that most of us are sleepwalking and what Gurdjieff recommended for all of the people that were uh, following him was to remember yourself always and everywhere. And that's a tall order because it really takes us out of our sense of definition by measurables where we think um, Oh, I've been a teacher for X number of years, or I'm a student at this level, or I earn this many dollars, or whatever it is that you might want to measure. <laughs> I'm married, I'm divorced. Uh, anything that you can say that's some kind of a descriptor about yourself, but somehow does not get to that intense I-ness. And this is that intense, transformative I am quality that when you have it, you know it because suddenly. You feel a deeper sense of reverence. Um, when I'm reading this book by Needleman, he talks about the necessity of loving the universe. And for myself, I would say it's a necessity of feeling reverence, uh, which is a combination for me of love and real respect. Respect to um, very high divine quality. And what both Jacob Needleman and myself share is this feeling that there just has to be a level of idea of divinity, of God, that there has to be some level, this is what um, I am not I gets into a little bit, is this idea that by recognizing that there is this notion of grand ideas, big ideas, good ideas, and this is my current fascination with how good can it get, when we go there, when we allow ourselves to keep remembering that sense of soulfulness, Here's what amazing thing happens next. What happens next that I have observed over and over is we get glimpses into the way that anything we need will be fulfilled, that our needs absolutely will be met. And this can be a very good thing. This is where reality shifts definitely are noticed by me as occurring because I'm able to recognize uh, here I am in this one state of measuring and observing, then I can drift my mind, it can feel like, wow, I am uh, this this grand sense of maybe timeless, uh, maybe infinite, uh, certainly a sense of soulfulness is for sure, with this real sense of meaning, purpose, value, reverence. And from there, I'm not making small wishes of I wish this for my own comfort, but instead I'm getting to a place of recognizing that all my needs are being met. They have always been met. And when I give back by choosing to be in service to the highest, greatest sense of goodness that I can possibly imagine, that indeed I do find out how good it can get. So that's my thought for the day about mindfulness, soulfulness, and reality shifts and Mandela effects. Till next time, please keep asking my favorite question, how good can it get? Take care.